Hello and welcome to the Homeschool Conversations Africa podcast. Here we discuss homeschooling from the African perspective and the unique challenges that come with it. If you're considering homeschooling, we hope to inspire you as you take this bold step. If you're already a homeschooler, we are here to share encouragement for this wonderful journey we are on to educate our children in the best way we can. We are your host, Jifa Andam and Carissa Nete Mabel. Let's dive right into today's conversation. Previously on Homeschool Conversations Africa. So we'd like to kick things off with an interview with Jifa. We thought it would only be fair to let her be the first in the interview. <laughs> Getting to some of the schools was even going to be more difficult. So we quickly realized that homeschool was a only choice. Mm. I was actually quite surprised at myself because <laughs> it was never on my radar. Yeah. I mean, I knew about it. I knew people who had done it and I thought, wow, these super moms will <laughs> done to them. But it's, it's, I think it's amazing how God works because I feel that at the right time, he just put that desire mm. in my heart for it. Yeah. And, and it's still there. He hasn't taken it away. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome once again to the Homeschool Conversations Africa podcast. If you are here with us on our last episode, we were talking with Jifa about her homeschooling journey and today we're going to continue that conversation. So let's not waste too much time, let's just jump right in. Yeah. I'm sure you've gotten this question a lot as a homeschooler. Um, I guess it's some sort of perception that people have that homeschoolers don't have a social life. <laughs> They're just locked away in their towers like Rapunzel and they don't see anybody. <laughs> so tell us how you navigate having a social life for your kids whilst homeschooling. That's a great question and you are right. I get that <laughs> question a lot. That and the question about tests. <laughs> yes. Um, so I must say I was concerned myself mm. before we began homeschooling about that because mm. a lot of people yeah. ask about that and you are right that it is a misconception. Interestingly, I think now that I've been in the homeschooling mm. world, I realized that homeschoolers probably have one of the richest social, mm. social lives. <laughs> if you, yes, if you can say that. I say this because um, they have the flexibility to be able to do more things. Mm. Um, I I could take the children to the bookstore during the day if I mm. wanted to. We could go to here here in Abuja. We can go to the park mm. during the day when there aren't many people. We meet our other homeschool friends mm -hmm. at the park in Accra. We used to meet regularly, weekly. Mm. Um, other homeschool families because mm. we were in a group together and so we used to meet every Tuesday, the children will play, the moms would get to speak. And when we talk of socialization, we have to remember that socialization does not consist of children being with 15 or 20 of their peers mm. all the time or for several hours a day, multiple days a mm -hmm. week. That is not what socializes a child. It may be part of it, mm -hmm. if that's the situation that the child finds themselves in. But children actually benefit from interacting with adults mm -hmm. or younger children. Mm -hmm. That's why it's nice for children who have siblings, because yeah. there are different things they are learning from all these different interactions. And in fact... Some research was done that showed that the children's socialization is most influenced, that the, the, should I say, the greatest influence they get is from their parents, not mm. from their peers. And though there can be positive aspects to being with their peers, in fact, that also comes with 
into some negatives yes, yeah uh, as uh, challenges as well yeah. so socialization is not a problem mm-hmm. contrary <laughs> contrary to, to what my children uh, sorry <laughs> Contrary to what people believe, yeah. my children have friends. We're not stuck. <laughs> We're not stuck in doors. I had yes. this. Um, I had another homeschool mom say this that you know when we were in school, you'd always hear your teacher saying, "You are not in school to socialize." Indeed. And yes, <laughs> yes, that's what people seem to be most worried about. Yes, holding that up as <laughs> as the model. That's true. Not sure. So, what 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 would you say are some of your favorite things about homeschooling? What 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 have been your favorite parts about homeschooling? I would say my favorite part about homeschooling is that I've gotten to know my children so much better. Mm-hmm. I I think I oh, I thought I knew them some, but before I pulled them out of school, I began to feel a bit distant. distant. Mm. It's funny, I don't know yeah. how to explain it. Because they'll come from school, when I pick them up, I'll say, how was school? And the answer is, fine. fine. You know, because they're tired, yeah. and I, and so I told them, I band fine, I don't want to hear <laughs> fine. I want three sentences when I ask you how school mm. was. But I could understand they were tired, they didn't want to talk. But now, I'm with them all the time. Yes, yeah. it can have its challenges. <laughs> <laughs> but we are all in the craziness mm. together and I feel like I've definitely gotten to know them better individually. Mm. Yes, so that's one of the greatest benefits of homeschooling to me. Um, I also like that my husband and I are in charge, for lack of a, a better mm-hmm. phrase to use, <laughs> of our children's education that mm. we know exactly what is happening yeah. as much as we try to be involved when they were in school to be honest i mean you look at their homework and all that but we weren't keeping up that way yeah. but now that we have to decide we have to look at the curriculum we have to teach mm-hmm. most of it ourselves we know exactly what What's they are learning way. and i think that that's important mm-hmm. so i like that too I like being able to see them learn and see them enjoy learning. Mm-hmm. That doesn't always happen. We do have tears in our own <laughs> sometimes. That's just part of <laughs> that's just part of life. I just want to be real right now. <laughs> but it is wonderful to see them learning and enjoying it and enjoying each other. That's another thing. Mm. They 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 are getting to spend time with each other. They have such a close relationship right now and Mm. that's really beautiful for me to see as well and I think it is for them too yeah and if I can just add one more thing (laughs) I can keep thinking of things but if I can just add one more thing that I like I like the flexibility that we have Mm. to be able to do things that we might not have thought that we could do I like that we can travel Mm. at any time of, of the, the year <laughs> that we decide to travel, that mm. we are not limited in that way. I like that we can go out mm. during the day. We can decide that we are going to do something in the morning mm. and then come back For later school. in the day. Yes, so I do. I do love that flexibility. Yes, that's just what I meant <laughs> tonight. All right. Okay, so we talked about the the good aspects. What would you say are some of the challenges? Um, I don't. I don't want to belabor the point and sort of associate Africa with challenges, <laughs> but then, I know there definitely are some unique challenges that come with homeschooling from Absolutely. this part of the world. So, if you could tell us a bit about those, the first thing that comes to mind is getting our curriculum. <laughs> That's perhaps the biggest challenge that we face. Using the classical education approach, a lot of the material that we need, we have to get from outside, Mm -hmm. Um, mostly from the U.S. That's where we get our material from. And so just the logistics involved Mm -hmm. in that, the cost sometimes, Mm -hmm. and just getting somebody to bring it Mm -hmm. or shipping shipping it over 
we mostly done shipping and shipping in order to be able to ship at an affordable rate. Mm. You might have to do a sea shipment, yeah. which will take a good two months, <laughs> maybe more, yeah. <laughs> to get to you. So you have to plan, plan that. Ahead of time. Yes. So that's definitely been one of the biggest challenges. The other, the other challenge, which is sort of related to that, is the issue of getting good books for the children. Mm. I mean, good story books for them to read. Uh, we don't have as many libraries yes. Yes. Um, on this side of the world, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And so we can't just walk into a library yeah. and check out a book. So if you... There are bookshops, but it means you're buying, buying, <laughs> buying, and that tends to be <laughs> expensive. <add> <laughs> yes, books are important, <laughs> but even <laughs> with books, we have a limit. Um, so we try to do what we can within the homeschooling community in Accra, for instance, we, we sell books. Mm-hmm. If you if you have books that are used, we sell to each other. So that helps, but that's definitely a challenge. Yeah. And that's one thing I would love to see <laughs> more of on this side of the world, libraries. Mm-hmm. And this last challenge is not, maybe it's not about being in Africa, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just a personal challenge. It's just homeschooling for children. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's. I just want to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> it has a ch- its challenges. Mm-hmm. Some days I just feel like I'm just Overwhelmed. running from person to person to person, and I yes, everybody's pulling me. I wish mm-hmm. I had eight <laughs> eight limbs. <laughs> yes, so that can be challenging, but mm-hmm. we found ways to work around it. And We just do our best and trust that God will bless what we are doing. Yes. So on that note, what what would you say you do to distress or to rejuvenate yourself in order to (laughs) function? Yeah. Lock myself in the bathroom with a book. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let me get to you. Even though I have done that, you know, sometimes you just need to hide and the children will find you wherever you are. Just go in there and lock the door. I'm in the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Oh Oh dear. (laughs) To be honest, on a day to day basis, if um if I've just really had it or I'm exhausted, I try to take a nap after school's over. Mm -hmm. I'll just take a quick nap before it's dinner time. Mm -hmm. So before it's dinner time. Um that's one. I I do love to socialize. Mm. So if I'm able to meet a friend with their children, the children play and I can just have a good conversation, that's relaxing for me. Mm -hmm. And I do like to read, but unfortunately I don't find (laughs) as much time as as I would like (laughs) to do so. But I love listening to podcasts (laughs) like this. Hence, the (laughs) homeschool Africa podcast. Yes, I love listening to podcasts and audiobooks, mm-hmm. and that I can do when I'm yeah. cooking and all of that. So, so long as I can have that alone time, mm-hmm. I don't mind if I'm working and I'm listening to something okay. good. Then that's relaxing for me. All right. <laughs> so let me just let me just ask this question: How do you manage being a teacher? Because essentially. As a homeschool mom, that's what you are. Yeah. A teacher and also managing the house with the children and all the responsibilities that come with it. Um it's it it takes a bit of it takes a bit of planning. I'm fortunate to have somebody who helps me mm-hmm. a bit with the housework, so that's nice. But um it just takes, it just takes uh, a, a bit of planning. You mm-hmm. just have to plan it and juggle it. Uh, but another important aspect is um, trying to teach the kids to do some of these things mm-hmm. as well. That's, in fact, that's one important, one of the reasons why we decided to homeschool, <laughs> believe it or not. We can have some home training Yes, as well. <laughs> indeed, because 
the children were spending so many hours out of the house mm. i just i wanted to but there was no, no time, time to yeah. teach them anything really it's like they were always running off mm. from, to school or to this practice mm. or something and so now we we get to do it even now it can be difficult but it's a bit easier mm. so they help in the little ways that they can mm. and, and we all just manage the house together <laughs> all right so um i know you will not call yourself a veteran <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> Well, what advice would you give to any new homeschooling parents or um, fellow homeschoolers? Hmm. Let me start with the new homeschooling parents. <laughs> um, if you're thinking about homeschooling, you're considering it, or you've just decided to do so and you're um, maybe anxious about it, uh, don't be. <laughs> um, no, I know that. <laughs> I know that sounds funny. I just want to. I just want to encourage you. You can do this. Um, I never pictured myself <laughs> as a homeschooler. I just. I just never thought to. So I'm. I'm always surprised to think of where I am right now. Uh, just take it one day at a time. Don't try to be perfect mm -hmm. don't measure yourself against somebody Other else people. yes because we all have our unique situations yes you can learn from other people we all do that and we and we try to make better ourselves but don't don't measure yourself against somebody else mm -hmm. and you know <laughs> beat yeah. yourself down um yeah so that's what i'll say to new homeschooling parents and if there's any way that you can get a group, join a group of homeschoolers, that was my saving grace. Mm -hmm. That really helped me. Because just to have other moms to talk to, to ask questions, and mm -hmm. they were all, always so kind. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be speaking with many of those homeschool parents on the podcast in future episodes. Um, so I'll say if you can find such a community, mm -hmm. try to just join such a group and that that will help you a lot to my fellow <laughs> schoolers who've been doing this for a couple of years or many many more years congrats in arms <laughs> yes then then i have i don't have much else to say because i'm still learning from them <laughs> all i'll say is let's keep up the good work <laughs> stay encouraged and uh Know that somebody may be watching you. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on that note, we'll bring this episode to a close. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to listen to the Homeschool Conversations Africa podcast. I've been Carissa Nettie Marbell with Chifa and Dam. Thank you for joining us, dear friends, and we look forward to having you again on our next episode till then take care bye bye